Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ethmoid bone. Uh, you can see the ethmoid bone from this view right here. So this is ethmoid when we pop the top of the skull off. Uh, you can also see pieces of the ethmoid inside here. So this would be ethmoid uh, in this section right here. Next to it would be lacrimal bone. So this would be lacrimal, ethmoid would be a little bit farther back, so more posterior. Okay. Uh, you can also see pieces of the ethmoid inside the nasal fossa. So this is a piece of the ethmoid right here, and these ridges here are also parts of the ethmoid bone. So let's go through some of the parts. Uh, so looking in the orbital fossa here, this section right here is called the orbital plate uh, or orbital mass of the ethmoid bone because it's making up part of the eye socket. That's that section there. Looking in the nasal fossa, this ridge of bone coming down connecting to the vomer, that's called the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. And then this bony ridge here and another bony ridge here. These are called the middle nasal conchi, middle nasal conchi. Underneath it would be the inferior nasal conchi, which are separate bones. Those are called the turbinate bones. Okay. The perpendicular plate connects to the vomer, which is also a separate bone. The vomer is a separate one. If we look from the top of the skull, okay, we pop the top off and we look at the ethmoid, we have the cristagalli of the ethmoid. We have this flat plate called the cribriform plate of the ethmoid. And then we're going to shift over to this skull. Going through that cribriform plate are all these little tiny holes that you can see. Those are called olfactory foramina. So olfactory foramina in the cribriform plate, and then here's the cristagalli of the ethmoid sticking up. 